So in this video, we're going to talk through the short screen COVID-19 antigen test. Um, this test comprises of a cassette and a swab um, that's added to a buffer to run the sample through the test. And we're taking uh, a sample from uh, each nostril. Um, it's uh, known as a, an anterior nares test. Uh, so it's really easy to, um, to conduct and it will give you the result uh, within 10 minutes. So um, uh, first thing to do when, when testing is to um, uh, get the cassette and uh, check on the back to make sure that the test is within its expiry date. Uh, then it's a case of uh, opening the, uh, the pouch here uh, and getting the test out ready to be used. So place that down here. Um, and um, then we need to do the collection. Um, so we're going to use the, uh, the, the swab and uh, uh, a sample is going to be taken from uh, from my nose, and then we'll we'll run the sample through the uh, through the cassette. So um, when it comes to uh, collection, um, what we want is the uh, the collector to be wearing uh, PPE gear, um, uh, so that you know there's some protection there for from any sort of uh, antigen um, positive uh, person. Um, also, it's a good idea to make sure that you're fully aware of the information in the uh, product insert as well. Um, so I'll introduce uh, Alice, and she'll come on and uh, and take a take a sample. So if you'd like to come in now. So uh, Alice is going to use the uh, anterior nose swab um, to uh, swab both of my uh, nostrils, um, and um, the first thing I'm going to do is actually blow my nose, so that um, moves any uh, sample from the back of the nose to the front of the nose to make sure that we get a, a good a good sample on the swab. Um, the swab needs to go in uh, probably a couple of centimetres and then it's rotated against the front wall of the nose up, up here in this area, just below the bridge of the nose. Um, so the first thing to do, as I said, is uh, give the nose a blow. Okay, great. So if you'd like to come and do the, the sample. Okay. And what your head box like then as well. Okay, and now we're going to do the other nostril. Okay. Very go. good. So if you just hang on to that for a moment. Um, uh, so what we need to do now is um, to uh, just prepare the, the buffer solution. So uh, we have a, a vial here, um, which we uh, use to mix the uh, buffer and the, and the swab together. Um, so uh, what we need to do is uh, twist off the top of the little uh, vial here, like so. And then we uh, add that into the, uh, the little um, vial down here. Great, so if you want to um, pop the uh, swab in there, and then what we want to do is to um, pinch this a little bit. There's a, a flexible um, part of the, uh, the little vial here. And by um, turning that, what we're doing is transferring the sample into the buffer, uh, which will um, help sort of break it down uh, so it can flow through the test and the test can see if there's any antigen present. So we do that uh, around 10 times. And then um, what we need to do is um, actually break this uh, swab. Um, there's a little sort of notch halfway down um, and we do that so that the uh, bottom of the buffer uh, remains in the, in the vial like so. Uh, then it's a case of um, closing the top over, um, which uh, works as a, a dropper. Um, and then uh, we just add the, the, uh, the, the buffer into the uh, cassette. So it requires three drops. Um, so I'll add the, add the sample now 
Um, so it's best to add one and then let it absorb before adding the next one. Uh, so that's drop two uh, and the last drop. Not saying. Um, so now the buffer is going to flow through the test um, and you'll probably see a pink wash uh, coming up through the results window. And then we need to result, uh, read the result uh, and compare it to the information and the instruction booklet. So uh, we'll read this at 10 minutes. So 10 minutes have elapsed uh, and it's time to have a look at the result on the cassette. Uh, so they're actually really easy to, uh, to read. Um, what we're looking for is a, a line at the control region at the top, uh, denoted by C, and then the, um, the presence or the absence of a test line at T. Um, so in the case of a, a negative result uh, like this one, uh, there's no line that forms at, at the T position, so this is a, a negative result. Um, with a positive, we'd expect to see a, a firm line uh, at T uh, as well. Um, so as you can see, you know, it's a really easy uh, test to administer, um, just getting a sample from the front of the nose. Uh, it's less invasive than something like a nasopharyngeal test, for example. Um, if you'd like to know any more about this test, uh, please contact us at your screen. Thanks.